I've know? seen the oxygen guys come out in their, their vehicles and bring oxygen. When your business is taking care of people, that's not easy to meet those needs when the lights are out. Right now, 7,500 people are still without power in Wichita. Two days after strong winds knocked down poles and electrical lines, and it could be another two days before the power is turned back on. We sent Sia New Yorker to a nursing home that's waiting for repair crews to arrive. Sia, any good news for those residents tonight? And unfortunately not. If you take a look behind me, Anne, every window in this place is open and there are people using flashlights. I spoke with the staff and they tell me their nerves are raw. They've not had power for almost three days. Earlier today, I also saw many people coming up here to pick up their loved ones to take them out of this dark situation. This young man said he got the call from his parents. Go get your grandmother. She's suffering. Well, we're taking her home. Yeah, we have AC and power over there. So we <laughs> Employees here at Deseret Health and Rehab say the electricity has been off since Thursday's storms swept through Sedgwick County, blowing down trees and knocking out power lines. There are about 50 elderly people that live here full time, many recuperating from health related illness and dementia. On Saturday, the facility received a portable generator. Neighbors near the nursing home say they're surprised it hasn't evacuated. People in oxygen, you know, there's, I mean, they need electricity. They too are without power and have made adjustments, but they are concerned for those living across the street. We've seen all the windows open and little flashlights at night. <laughs> so I don't know how people do it without electricity. <laughs> They're all hoping West Star gets there soon to help the elders. We loved on those guys a lot. They, they're dear folks. And I spoke with the staff just a little bit ago. They told me they are still running on a generator. Everyone here is concerned about this situation and the elders. We even had one gentleman call the station and offer to bring another generator here. They're all hoping that Westar can resolve this situation and restore power quickly. In West Wichita, Sia New Yorker, Eyewitness News.